Hello, all of my favorite people in the world. Especially you. You're my super favorite. But don't tell anyone else. That will be our little secret. Well, it's the Tuesday after this year's Easter festivities. So, like clockwork, I'm hyped up on sugar from discounted Easter chocolate. Ooh, yeah. So I thought I'd use this opportunity, as I usually seem to do, to make a little update of what's going on in the world around me. Around me. There's, there's bombs going off somewhere, probably. That doesn't change. But what's going on with me, I hear you ask? That's right. I'm referring to your voice in my head. How's it going? Don't think I don't notice you. But yes, what's going on with me? Well... I'm still going to the gym, still working on that, and then you you basically nuke a whole hour at, on the treadmill by eating one little bite of chocolate, and then you're, you're questioning where all the time went, all of the life choices, everything leading to you to this moment, and you hate your past self, you're like, you there, stop eating chocolate, I know it's discounted, but don't fall for it, don't buy nine different packets of little mini chocolates, what are you doing man no okay okay you've bought them now david you've got them in your bag in your bag you're walking home with them now but doesn't mean you have to eat them there's probably a homeless person that could go for those easter eggs what are you doing don't walk past him that was your opportunity to feel good and not have tummy rumblings of too much sugar afterwards but then i keep walking well i keep walking and then I eat the Easter eggs. We won't keep that up. And then we eat the Easter eggs. And it, it feels good at first. You get that initial high. It's like, oh, yeah. I could go for some more of that. And then you keep going. And then you keep going. You're like, I'll just have one more. And that becomes your catchphrase for the next 15 to 20 of them. I feel like I've been blocking the microphone this whole time. That'll be awkward. For three, two minutes into this. That was almost a countdown to Kabumi time. But we didn't say one. Oh no, I said one! <sighs> you really can't tell I'm hyped up on sugar. But yes, so that's where I'm at right now. Regretting how much sugar I had, but I'm on the high right now. See if you can pinpoint when that low hits and I start uh, crashing. Yeah. So, until then, let's see what I've been up to. I bought some new video games that I add to the shelf of shiny things and then never get round to playing. The most recent ones were the Disney Afternoon Collection. Oh yes, yeah, six games I could have downloaded for free through emulation, but no, they put it in a fancy little digital package with a few rare, rare I say, uh, digital scans of artwork from the archives. I'm like, I'll have a bit of that. Thank you very much. I know no one's actually listening to this. If you are, hi. Hi. Hope you're having a good day. But gather around. This is mainly, mainly documenting my own insanity right now. That's what we're doing. But yes, I also bought Yakuza 0 and Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Rolls off the tongue there, yes. And the 1.5 and the 2.5 Kingdom Hearts. All of the things. Also auditioned for a few voice acting things online. Unpaid, but I, I did, liked to dip my toe out there. I felt good. I felt genuinely good. I found a few projects that didn't seem soul-crushing and boring, where it's like, hey, we're not going to pay you, but could you read these 40 pages? I was like, how about fuck you? How about that, buddy, huh? There we go. Ooh, I got a message from someone, distractions. Anyway. <coughs> So, again, I'd like to reiterate, this isn't me normally, but yes, since I'm on shook, 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 high, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, did any of you like that little singing video I did the other day? No one commented on it, so I'm going to take that as a no. Ooh, look at that seamless transition. You wouldn't even know it's 15 minutes later if I didn't tell you that right now. Although, this is probably the point where the sugar high has a noticeable difference. But we're carrying on anyway. Yeah. Now, as I was saying, I did some voice acting work online, which is the dream. 
It has always been the dream. In fact, part of what I wanted to do with this YouTube channel was use it as a way to get myself out there, just as my own little portfolio. But it devolved and... That's a word. That's definitely a word. Uh, into, into whatever this is. Where one moment I'm recording a little 15 second video for no good reason, another time I'm doing, I'm tell, reminiscing about my past and all of these weird little things that have happened to me over my lifetime. Other times I'm playing with little rubber toys on a kitchen counter. And as a side note, I really want to bring those toys back because it was 10 years ago that I made the first little trilogy of those for my friend who was in hospital at the time. So I thought it might be nice to make one last episode, even though the last two episodes have had a last episode vibe to them. But it's my channel. I'll do what I want. You don't have to watch it. No one's forcing you. But yes, one last one. I was going to say tie up all the loose ends, but it's toys on the kitchen counter. There's nothing to tie up. Except maybe bring back that little hamster in a shoe who's actually a gerbil. Didn't know that at the time of making his first appearance, but then someone was like, that's a gerbil. It's like, ah, dang it. Now I gotta fit that into the story somehow. And I did, but then it ended up as a del deleted scene. So now I'm like, do I reference it again? Is it canon? Is it not canon? Because it's a deleted scene, even though I uploaded the video of the collection of deleted scenes. So anyone who watched that knows the joke now. Do I basically rework the joke into the newer one? I don't even know anymore. And then there was a birthday episode for someone. Same friend who was in hospital, who, the series was originally created for and there was a whole weird thing where a character from another children's show was having an affair with bad guy and I never referenced that again because it was a really obscure episode that wasn't even online until many years later and it's just what what do you do with that what do you do with that is it disrespectful to the audience if you don't reference it again you know do you go for that one percent audience by making that joke because with Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, there was a deleted scene where Randall says to Dante about how it's uh, lame comebacks like that that made ABC cancel us. And they were referring to the six-episode Clerks cartoon that got cancelled. But in the commentary, Kevin Smith said literally only 1% of the audience would get that joke, so they took it out. But I was watching that thinking, I'd have got that. I would have totally got that. I would have really appreciated that joke. But you gotta pander to the masses. And that's where I'm at. Yes, I'm Kevin Smith with rubber action figures on a kitchen counter. That's what I'm implying. Now, for anyone who doesn't has never watched my Bat Guy and Spider Dude series, that was a little three-minute rant that meant nothing to any of you. But still, I enjoy that series. The old ones don't really work, and there was one where the one of them kind of suffocates the other one with his penis until he passes out. That's a bit weird. Probably wouldn't make a joke like that these days, <laughs> but at the time, it was kind of funny to me. Anyway, enough about our balls. That's pretty much all that's going on with me. Just going to the gym, trying to, f f you know, not give in to the temptation of eating chocolate and other sugary bullshit. Because there's no good coming from that. But one cannot live on Wheatabix and porridge alone. It gets a bit dull. Dullsville, baby. Population, you. So, that's all of that. Oh, by the way, AJ Pune, if you're listening to this, I did actually record a little back and forth between Liquid Snake and Revolver Ocelot. And I did the whole thing where they order from McDonald's, etc., etc. You know where it goes, you know where it goes. But I didn't do it in one take. I kept going back and forth, kind of like that show Curb Your Enthusiasm, where there's no script, they just have a premise or an outline, and they do what they want, and they do several different takes, and I listened back to it and I thought, hmm, I want to use a little bit of that, a little bit of that take, a little bit of that take, splice it all together, but next thing you know, you're looking at a five-hour editing situation for a five-minute bit of audio. Didn't even have my camera on me that time, so, yes, and just like, is it worth it? 
Is it worth it? So, like that singing video I just uploaded, the video before this one, in chronological order, there was one joke I made, one visual joke if anyone's watched it, and I could have just not done that, but my, there was a part of me that's like, I, it, would, it would pain me to let such an obvious joke go. It was just, it's right there. I, you know, it was handed to me. Once in a lifetime opportunity. That's never going to happen again. So I spent three to four hours perfectly syncing up a little 15 second visual joke for something that basically no one's going to care about. You know, very few people are going to watch and even fewer people are even going to get. But I was like, damn it, I need to do that. So, because as I've said before, in that video where it sounded like I was underwater because I accidentally covered up the microphone with my finger where I was super serious. Remember that one time where I was super serious about don't let negative people bring you down. I was going to do a follow-up one about suicide and how you shouldn't do that. But then I argued both sides. I'm like, well, you know, on the one hand, it's the most selfish thing you could do. Because your pain doesn't end when you end your own life. It just gets passed on and spread to everyone who has ever cared about you. But on the other hand, if, you know, if you're feeling down in the dumps and you feel like literally the only escape from all of this is to end your own life and that's the only option that works at all, then who am I to say don't do it? You know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll tackle that some other time. I also wanted to make a video about abortion, but then this whole thing with John Tron came out where he voiced his opinion and everyone dogpiled on him for having the, the minority opinion. So it's like, maybe I shouldn't just come out the gate with, you know, talks of my opinion on abortion and all of that sexy business. Would people even want? Is that why people come to this channel? I don't think so. They want to hear stories from my past and do stupid voices or whatever. I don't know. I tried going down the gameplay route, but those videos are lucky to get double digits, let alone single digits. So I'm like, all right, no more gameplay videos. I get it. Maybe I'll mix the two one time, where it's more about the audio content, but I just slap some visual gameplay in the background for something to stimulate your eyes. Ooh. But the only way I could record that is through the PlayStation 4's internal memory or recording function. No one even knows what I'm talking about anymore. This is why I should make very specific videos. So if you have any interest in this subject, you can watch this little video. Or this one. Or this one. Because when I jump through topics, leapfrogging from one to the other every few minutes, no, there's gonna, inevitably going to be a chunk of, that people are like, I, do, I have no interest in this at all. But it is what it is. I wanted to make a top t my favourite ten games of all time video, but quite a few of those are on consoles I have no way of getting gameplay from. The old machines, you could get gameplay through emulation, but other games, it's gotta be tricky. It's gotta be tricky. But yes. And does anyone care? I mean, I care. I'd want to make that for me, but then I already know the answer. I don't need to spend 20 to 30 hours editing together a little 10 minute video of my favorite 10 games or whatever. I know it. I know it, Brad. It's fine. Anyway. I also want to make little animations on this channel, but I know myself well enough to know that I probably won't end up doing that. I have videos from 11 years ago that never got uploaded. I had such grand plans, but it comes down to I had time needed to edit it versus payoff. If I had a larger audience base, then I would put that out there, because why not? But some of these videos, if I'm not feeling it 100%, I'm just like, what? If, if I'm, because with those bad guy and spider dude things, some of those, I, I didn't like them at first, but then I left it a while and I watched the raw footage again months later and I really enjoyed it. So that was my driving force to edit those together into something that people like. 
And then my editing software crapped out and messed up the timing, so everything awkwardly lingers for a second more than it should. And that fucked it up a little bit for me. It's like I put all that effort in. The preview looked good, but the final render messed everything up slightly. That doesn't work for comedic timing. Anyway, point is... Some of these older vid- you know, I enjoyed those Bat Guy and Spider Dude videos, and that- It's like, even if I'm the only one who likes this, and or watches it, that's good enough for me. Because if I'm laughing, that's one person at least who likes it. But if I'm not even enjoying it, and I'm just putting out something that even I'm not enjoying, then there- There might be zero people who like that, and I've completely wasted my time. So, for some of my old videos, I can go back at- Like the video of, um- Hazuki Storytime Adventure Wonder Book Thing. That's not what it's called, but it's basically where I completely bullshit my way through a fake story from opening up the Wonder Book. That was one solid take. No pre planning or anything. Just like, hey, that could be a fun idea. I genuinely love that video. So, I need to sneeze. Am I going to sneeze on, on cue? No? No. This has been 14 minutes now. Possibly 15 since it's two different parts. This part's 11 minutes. Anyway, so, yes. Hopefully you just had this on in the background. Otherwise, that's 15 minutes you'll never get back. Wasn't that a beautiful black screen? Look at it. Look how beautiful it is. And... That's it. So, I'm not sure what's going to happen with this channel. If you want any... If you have any ideas of what you want me to do, feel free to suggest them. If any of these things I've just randomly thrown out there as ideas or things you'd want to see, then go ahead. Say, hey, that's the thing I'd be interested in. And then maybe I'll use that as driving force. Yeah, and not the, not the kind of driving force that's been happening recently where people just splatter about eight people in a row on the sidewalk and try and cause as much of a scene as possible, break into Buckingham Palace, or just paint uh, the nearest road in Paris in a, a, a nice shade of pe pedestrian red. I mean, well, what the fuck is going on with this world right now? We may never know. I do... I do want to make cartoons for this channel, though. Little 30-second things. But my animation skill isn't great. That's why a lot of my ideas I ended up doing with toys on a kitchen counter, because it's easier. I can just get those jokes out in, in a quick-flow, free-form manner, without obsessing about how the proportions of the arms on the, these drawn characters aren't great, so I try and minimal, I'm, I make it a minimal, minimalist style. There we go. Digital dancing. Hey, this is fun. So, don't hug me, I'm scared. That's a weird show. That's a weird show. Episode 2 gave me nightmares for a while. You seen that? It's like, make it stop. Creepy, creepy. I have a t-shirt of don't hug me, I'm scared. I'm going to put a photo of me wearing that t-shirt in this video right here. Look at me. Look at me all looking... I fucking needs to smile. Look at that. He should smile. And that's pretty much that. So, maybe there'll be random animations on this channel. Don't hold your breath, though. I don't really have any more stories from my past. My life's a bit dull. The, you know, the closest thing to an adventure I have currently is going out late at night because that's when the, the supermarkets discount their food. Because why pay three pounds for a sandwich when you can pay 50 pence for it just by going out late at night? I'm a night owl anyway, so it makes sense. Work it into your routine. Go to the gym, come out of the gym at 10 p.m., the shops close at 11 p.m. That gives you an hour window to just browse all of the different shops to get discount food. There you go. Stretch those pennies. Stay beautiful. <laughs> uh, what the fuck was this? I kind of apologize. Maybe you enjoyed this. I mean, no one forced you to listen to it. So if you got this far, either you were hoping that you had some weird gambling addiction kind of thing going on here, where it's like, I've sunk too much time into this. I, I'm, I'm too deep. I'm in too deep. There needs to be some payoff. Hopefully there's some payoff, but no. It's been 18 minutes and this was nothing. <clears throat> Do, 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 do.
We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny. I can't hold a high note to save my life. Day. Yeah.